I spent 50 hours stranded on an island in the middle of the ocean. My goal was to transform this place into the perfect Minecraft island, all while surviving off of our very limited resources. Enjoy! For the past two years, I've only played in one Minecraft world. And needless to say, I've made a lot of progress. But today, I want to try something new. A brand new adventure in a fresh world with an interesting twist. Introducing Minecraft Hardcore, but I'm stranded on an island. All right, here we are. Oh my gosh, this feels so weird starting out with nothing. But hello, village. This island already looks amazing. And we got a jungle up here. A beautiful sandy beach over there. Oh baby, I'm excited for this. But okay, let's start gearing up. So the whole point of this series is to try and survive as long as I can on this island and transform it into an amazing paradise. And also not die. It is still hardcore. I also got to be very careful of my materials because there's not many trees on this island. So I'm going to need some of these bad boys. Thank you very much. And from that, we have a grand total of six saplings and seven sticks, which we can now turn into a crafting bench. Boom. And I can turn this stuff into a pickaxe, which I can then use to get some stone and make us a set of stone tools. I love progress. I also wonder if any of these village houses have any loot in them. Perhaps a blacksmith house? <gasps> Diamonds! That was so fast! And an iron pickaxe and iron leggings and food. That seemed a little too easy. Why don't we just leave the diamonds in here until I actually mine some legit? I feel like I haven't earned those yet, but I will take these pants. Stone sword, an axe, and a shovel. Well, all right, what a wonderful start we have so far. But that being said, I don't think three bread's gonna suffice, so we should probably get some food now. Aw, he's offering someone a flower. There's... There's no one, there's no one there. Okay, I can definitely take some of this hay and make more bread. We go like this and we go like that. Good. But we probably should have our own source of food, so I'm not just stealing villager stuff all the time. It's called being self-reliant, okay? So we're gonna want some seeds if I can get some from this grass like that. Yes, perfect. I'd also love it if these villagers had a farm somewhere so I could get some carrots and potatoes. All right, relax, relax, relax. Haha, <laughs> first mob kill. Sweet. All right, what do we got in here? More bread, which is pretty cool. And some leather boots, but no crops yet. Oh, potatoes. Yes. Now we just need some carrots, which means I gotta also not die from skeletons because that would defeat the purpose of the whole thing we're doing. We're supposed to survive. Don't forget that. Nope, nothing. <gasps> yes. Ah, oh, just more potatoes and saplings, which I could use, but no carrots. Oh my gosh, why are there so many zombies here? No, 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 no. It's gonna be really hard to get villagers back if they die, so I need to protect them. How does this even happen? We're on day one. Oh God. Oh. Hey, Iron Golem, Iron Golem. Can you help me, please? Yeah, yes. You are the best golem of all time here. Take some... Uh, take a potato, I guess. I love you. But getting back on track, I don't think there's any carrots on this island. Unless... We're going on a little field trip. I'm like 99% sure carrots can sometimes spawn in shipwrecks. Come on, baby. Show me some carrots. Treasure map. That's pretty cool, but not what I wanted. How about you over here? Nothing. But lucky for us, there are plenty more ships in the open sea. I will find you, Mr. Carrot. I will. Shipwreck number two. Anything? Ugh. Still nothing. Third time's a charm. Aha! I knew it to be true. Now get me back on the island before anyone yells at me. Oh dear. I can already read the comments now. Farzi, you left the island. You're stupid. Now where should we put this farm? Perhaps right down here. So let's grab some dirt for the crops. And we'll plant them in a circle right around here. Good. I'm also going to grab a little bit of cobblestone so it's not so ugly and boring looking. And just place a little outline around the thing. All right, perfect. Now I just put some water here in the middle and we should be good to go if I had buckets to use. It's been a long time since I've played day one of Minecraft. Um, how am I supposed to get a bucket right now? Wait a second. I really hate to do this because you've been so nice to me and you protect all the villagers, but I'm gonna need your iron. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Do we have three iron there? Yes, three iron. Your boy is a genius. Boom. Boom. 
boom, and a boom. And that right there is how you make a farm. Food source, check. But the downside is we now have no iron golem, so you guys are kind of in danger. Which means I need to go gear up, get some better tools, and hopefully make a new iron golem for the villagers. Let's go mining. I'm so glad that's water. Oh, baby, we found the right cave. Let's do this thing. Coal, perfect. I'm gonna need some of this for torches and for smelting stuff. Copper, you're kind of useless, but I'll take some. Why not? Heck is that? Oh, it's a cow. <laughs> I was like, what is looking down at me? Okay, relax, relax, relax. Uh oh. Oh, we're jumping in. Okay, we're jumping in. I don't want to die. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is very dangerous. But yes, iron. This is exactly what we're looking for. Careful. Just grab some of this and don't fall to your death. Seems like a pretty easy formula to follow. Oh my gosh, this cave is massive, dude. Look at this place. I'm like a little bit terrified, but I also want to keep exploring. Oh, there's a lush cave up there. Gold. Diamonds? Yes, all right. This is amazing. Oh, I can't pick it up. Uh, uh, egg, bye. More diamonds and an iron block. Okay, I'm getting a little ahead of myself right now and I don't want to die, so let's just... Cool it. Is this an iron vein? Dude, I can't stop finding cool stuff. This is incredible. These iron veins literally contain like thousands of iron ore. So we're gonna be set for a while, I think. Zombie, not the time. I'm in no mode. I'm a little busy becoming rich right now. Okay, why don't we head back up and get a head count on what we got so far? All right, we have one stack and 27 iron, which can be thrown in the furnace to smelt up as we speak. We also managed to get two diamonds, plus the three more we had over here from the spawn, giving us a a total of five. Okay, let's craft some stuff. Let's start ourselves off with some iron armor. Oh, I crafted an extra set of leggings. Did not need those. We're also gonna upgrade our tools with a new pickaxe, a new sword, and most importantly, we're gonna make a shield so I can protect myself from all the evil mobs. Boom, and there we go. And if my math is correct, we should have just enough iron to make a new iron golem. And we go one, two, three, four, and a pump pumpkin on top, which I do not own. Unless... I don't see any pumpkins on this island. Would melons work? I would guess probably not. So instead of the golem, why don't I just lock you guys in your houses so you don't die? Oh, hello, sir. Okay, villagers, safe. But I, on the other hand, am not safe, so I probably should start focusing on making a house. Like, really soon. This is not fun at all at the moment. Not fun at all! Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I am very scared right now. Dolphin, save me! Uh, I gotta sleep. 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 Okay, good night. Good night. L let me sleep! Uh, please, thank you. Oh. Okay, we're good. We're good. Oh, dear. So, yeah, a house. When I picture my perfect tropical house, I imagine a whole lot of oak wood and cobblestone, kind of like these villager houses. But the only problem is that we really don't have any oak trees on this island. We got a whole lot of jungle, but I think jungle is disgustingly ugly, so we're gonna have to make a tree farm. Unless that Enderman wants to go get some oak wood from somewhere else for me, but it seems like we aren't on good terms. Yeah, let's make a tree farm. That was really close, by the way. All right, I have 10 saplings. So if I can harvest some more dirt, I can make us a nice little tree farm right out here on the water. So I guess we just build out this way. I don't think I've made one of these tree farms in like three or four years. Fingers crossed. This is also gonna look horribly ugly right now, but I'll make it prettier later. We just gotta get the wood first. Okay, good. Now we can just evenly distribute the saplings across this dirt plain. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now grow. Do it. Give me wood. Perhaps my trees need some light to grow. So let me just pop down here and grab some coal. And smack down the torches. Now don't get me wrong, the farm does work, but I feel like if we're gonna build a house today, it needs to be a little faster. And lucky for us, I have an idea. Operation Get A Lot Of Bone Meal. The name is kind of self-explanatory. So let's put our valuables in the chest, grab a bucket of water, and let's go hunt down some skeletons. MLG! Nice. Oh, target acquired. Ooh. Come on, give me your bones. And I got nothing. Ooh. Oh my gosh, there's so many skeletons down here. Oh, hello, diamonds. I didn't plan this well enough. There's a lot of mobs down here. Oh, that's not good. I'll be right back. 
new shield, new food, new Farsi. Ow. That was a close one. These shields are not very strong. Oh, what are you? Oh, please be a skeleton spawner, please. That would be so helpful. It's a spider spawner. Any good loot though? Horse armor, which I don't really need at all, but I'll take it. And golden apple. Sure. All right, let's head back up. And 17 bones later, we can now get some trees. Turn all this into bone meal. Smack it on these saplings. And commence rain. That was totally part of the plan. But okay, let's start gathering up some wood. All right, wood check. It's possible we might need a little bit more as we're building, but for the time being, I think a stack in 12 is pretty good. Oh, also, I realized I have beetroot seeds from that spider spawner, so even more crops. Now we're just gonna grab some extra cobblestone, and it's time to begin building our house, which I think would look pretty sick right down here on the beach. So we're gonna start things off with a nice little oak wood base. I'd say this is a pretty good size. Now these outside blocks are gonna be normal kind of like pillars, and the Inside's gonna be stripped wood, just for some color variation. Now let's raise this whole thing up a little bit. Grab some more wood from the tree farm. Oh, I hate these stupid trees with the branches. So unnecessary. And continue to raise up all the stripped wood. I definitely underestimate how much wood this is gonna actually take. You guys are so lucky we cut out all the boring parts. Shout out to my editor. And just so you guys know, this part literally took me multiple hours of waiting for trees, so that was fun. I'm so tempted to go get that tree over there, but I can't. It's the stupid island challenge. I play by the rules. But a little bit later, we have our walls. Now we're gonna build up here and start making this house into a an actual roof shape. So essentially, we're gonna start one in from the pillar and go up by one, then go up by two, and do this over and over until I find the middle. Oh, let it be known, that's like my third axe I've broken building this thing. Making a sick house is not easy work, I'll tell you what. All right, perfect. Now we can start lining the roof and making the top half of the building actually come to life. So let's make a whole bunch of cobblestone stairs and start placing these all around the side and up this little staircase. We're probably gonna need a little more cobblestone, but you guys get the idea for this. <gasps> oh, I thought you were a wandering trader. I was so happy there for a second. Now we could bring the cobblestone across the roof, but in my opinion, it looks a little too stony that way. So what I'm gonna do is use my wood and place some logs here and strip some of them and just make kind of like this woody vibe. That's a funny way of putting it, but yeah, woody vibe. Aw, oh, wait, big brain idea. We could also make some planks and make some stairs and trap doors and slabs and sprinkle all that stuff in. Oh baby, the creative juices are flowing right now. All right, how is that for a roof? I would say this thing came out pretty good. Now we just gotta work on the front of the house because it kind of looks like a human being if they had no eyes, nose, or mouth. Just like a blank face. So let's change that. First things first, we're gonna make a door and a door frame. So I'll take one of these and we're gonna go boom, break this guy right here and place down an upside down stair. Let's break out some more logs and put some big windows in, which means I'm gonna need some of these fences and we'll go stair, maybe a double fence and a stair again? Not terrible, so I'll roll with it. Okay, something still looks weird here, so I think I need to put like a pillar going across. Let's see how this looks. Yup. Now we can go big window here in the middle, trap doors as window frames, and if I can find some wild flowers, we can even make some little gardens here right in the front using dirt, some trap doors, and I can't put a flower there. I guess my gardens will be a little bit smaller than I wanted them to be, but it's fine. Yeah, that looks really cool. I like that. And as I spread my decorations to all four sides, I thought of some more really cool ideas. Okay, I'm about to enter my pro builder era right now. I feel like the walls are a little bit too just one color, so I kind of want to break it up a bit and add in some planks just here and there. And additionally, if we just grab some more cobblestone real fast, we could replace this first layer here and make 
like a little cobblestone base all around all four sides. So much better. We're also going to make a few awnings here on the front, which is basically a fancy umbrella for your door like this. Then we'll add some random fences, buttons, and last but not least, barrels. Wait, I placed that wrong. It's supposed to be like that. There we go. Sweet. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, just look at that thing. Wait, I think I just got another idea. Motivated Farsi is a dangerous Farsi. You can't tell me you can't picture a dock right here perfectly in front of our house. After all, I need a place to park my boat, so I kind of have to do it. Operation Build a Dock is now a go. I love how we're building all this and I still haven't even built a furnace yet. That's how you can tell I'm a builder at heart. And just like that, boom goes the dynamite. I just decided that's my new catchphrase now. But speaking of explosives, I have blown through all my iron, making iron axes for that dock. So I probably should get some more. And I think I have a pretty good idea on how we're going to do that. Let's go put this buried treasure map to use. And we even get to use our freshly made dock. All right, where am I going? Oh, okay. We're on the map, which means the treasure should be right around this random island. Like right down here. I really wish I brought a shovel with me. But I am not allowed to get any wood from these other land masses. I have to stick to my island only. So I gotta do it this way. I am a man of honor and integrity. Kids, be like Farsi. But nobody said I couldn't take wood from a sunken ship. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Crafting bench, shovel, and treasure. Come on, give Farsi some valuables. Yes. Iron, gold, emerald, a heart of the sea. Just what the doctor ordered. Ordered. Buried treasure, check. Now I just gotta find my island. I hope I didn't lose it. Found it. Nice. Oh, not nice. Um, I guess you guys could chill there for now. Oh no, they're burning. So sad. But carrying on, let's start working on the interior of the house. Because as you can see, we've kind of been slacking on that. Okay, so let's start out with the floors, which judging by the block palette we used, I think oak wood would look the best. And yes, I'm using slabs because I'm cheap. It just mathematically makes more sense, okay? <laughs> Okay, cool. Now we're gonna take out our stairs and begin making a second floor. Up to here, maybe? Then we just flatten this layer off. Ah, wait, but my window, I can't look out it. Wait, 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 I need to fix that. What's the point of making a house on the water if you can't enjoy the scenic view that it brings? Chef's kiss. Okay, this was not part of the plan, but I'm kind of making a little like balcony thing here from the inside where I can look down at the first floor and I kind of love it. Put some slabs here, have the staircase here, and now we have two fully functional floors. Oh, wait, I actually hate this. One sec. And much better. Now all we got to do is make the house a little more survival friendly. Bed, chest, crafting bench, lanterns, furnaces, and as many simple decorations as I can find. I wouldn't call this island a builder's paradise, but it'll get the job done. And there we have our just good enough house. The decor is certainly interesting in some areas, like the bell and the floating barrel. But again, we're only on episode one, so I gotta make do with what I got. Trust me, it'll get better later on. But all right, with the house all out of the way, the last thing I want to do today is expand our farms. Don't get me wrong, this bad boy does work, but having all four crops in one little circle isn't the most efficient way to do things. So it's time to expand and make it look prettier. So all we're gonna do is make a whole bunch of fences and basically scatter a bunch of these farms in different areas around our land. And the objective here is to make them look like weird shapes so it looks more natural and not just like a giant square or circle. This can be wheat, break the old farm and put carrots here, potatoes, beetroots, and while we're at it, we might as well make a melon farm too. And there we have it. Five beautiful farms for all our crops. It only took us eight axes and three hoes. That's not ridiculous or anything for one episode. It's fine. I'm not mad. You're mad. But okay, guys, that's gonna be it for me for episode one. 
This is Hardcore Island. Last episode, we started our journey, got our first materials, and built ourselves a house. But today, we are back with bigger and better goals. Now, as you can see, we have quite a bit of materials from the first day, but we gotta make some upgrades. I currently only have iron tools and armor, so today, we're gonna try and gear up and get an entire set of diamond gear. Which means we're gonna need a little bit of food, which is mostly still growing, but I can take a few carrots here and there. Grab some torches and begin heading down to the mines. Where's the mine? I already lost where it is. There's a big cave somewhere around here. Aha, it's here. The cow marks the spot. Oh, two cows mark the spot. Hello there, you're so cute. Ow. And last week, I almost died on this jump, so we're gonna try it again for good sake. Bruh. I survived. Yay. Okay, let's go. Now I have to be extremely careful in this cave because last episode, I almost died a few times. And as I suspected, there's a lot of mobs down here. We got our work cut out for us today, boys. All right, evade the skeletons. The skeletons are the ones that are the scariest. And I'm pretty sure there were diamonds down here that I missed last episode. I was kind of busy almost dying, you know? Aha, I knew it. I knew it. Okay, good. First diamond down. Oh, two diamonds. Three diamonds. Four, five diamonds. There's so many diamonds here. And zombies who are now holding my diamonds. Don't kill me. Oh, we got a war in our hands. Drop my diamond. Why are you holding so much stuff? Who armed you? Okay, diamond check. And after mining a few more of these bad boys, that gives us a grand total of nine diamonds. And if we do some quick math here, if we want to get a full set of armor and tools, we need 35 diamonds. So off we go. I literally just found diamonds again. Off we go. Your boy never stops winning at this game. Okay, this cave's taking me upward, but diamonds don't spawn up, they spawn down. So we're gonna go back this way. And also, using my big Minecraft brain, diamonds spawn near lava, I think. So if I were to peruse the lava lakes a little bit, there should be diamonds right here. No. Just kidding. Uh... But what I can do is sneak my way through this little crevasse and go into a new cave with more diamonds. Make it harder, Minecraft. Just make it harder. <laughs> More diamonds! And just like that, we're already halfway there. Also, this cave just never stops, apparently. Just everywhere I go, there's more cave. This is the best scene ever. <gasps> Mob spawner. What kind, what kind, what kind? Skeleton spawner. Okay, this is huge. This is huge. Torches, light it up. Yes. This right here is absolutely massive because if I can make a skeleton farm, I can have XP and infinite bone meal for my crops. But we'll come back to that later because right now I'm on a mission. Operation, get my diamond gear. One eternity. Later. Okay, I might have used up all my diamond luck because I can't find any right now. Unless I just reverse jinxed it. Nope, I'm actually just cursed right now. <gasps> no way. Another mob spawner and diamonds. This is a zombie spawner. I literally have one of every spawner now. All right, just don't die, Farzy, please. Things are going so well for me right now. All right, get in. Torches down. See it. Zombies. Now for the diamond. And now for the chest loot, which nothing really that cool, but on we go. Ooh. Oh, mine shaft. We are literally finding everything today. Another spotter over there too. And more diamonds. How much higher can my voice go? This is really hurting my vocal cords, but I don't care. Yes. Baby, this is perfect because these places can contain some pretty good loot if I can just find the chests. Hello? Any chests available for me? Oh, that's not a chest. That's a death trap. Oh, diamonds. I mean, I can't say no to those now, can I? All right, only six diamonds away. Oh, I see our first chest behind that skeleton over there. Excuse me, sir. All right, please be diamonds. Please be diamonds. It's... A name tag, lapis, and glow berries, which I could eat. So that's kind of cool, I guess. Oh, wait, I'm dumb. Pumpkin seeds. I don't have any pumpkins back home. That's actually really rare for me. Yes. And would you look at that? There's more diamonds. I'm having a good time today. Do I do it? Do I do it? I'm gonna do it. I did it. And just like that, our diamond goal is complete. Let's get out of here. All right, where are we? I have no idea where the island is. This might take a while. Ah, uh, found it. But all right, let's go craft up some gear. Sword, pickaxe, axe, shovel, hoe. I don't know why I just made that, but it's fine, I guess. Chest plate, leggings, boots, and last but not least, a helmet. And 
there we have it, a fully diamond Farsi. But of course, the whole theme of today's video is upgrades. So to me, the next logical step is to begin enchanting our new gear. Commencing operation, build an enchanting room. An enchanting room consists of two main things, bookshelves and an enchantment table. But we have one small problem. I currently don't have any leather to make books, but you, sir, might be able to help me. We're making a cow farm. So first things first, we're gonna need a bunch of wheat to lure the cows in and breed them. Shout out to my amazing wheat farm. We're also gonna need a place to keep the cows. So I'm gonna go get some wood and make some fences. Side note, I read the comments of last video and you guys hate my tree farm. You think it's so ugly. So I guess we're gonna have to fix that later. But okay, fences, check. Now let's go find ourselves some cow friends. Cow number one. I just gotta find you a friend who you can mate with right there. Ah, uh, ah, uh, do you like her? That's your wife. We're making a family today who I will eventually kill for their leather, but besides the point, they don't call me Farzy the matchmaker for nothing. All right, relax. Let Cupid work. Yes, you're gonna come this way because you're very smart. You know where you're going. Oh, we're getting ambushed. <laughs> Oh no, the cow's dead. The cow's dead. I have failed my job as a matchmaker. I'm so sorry, Cal. You're now a widow. I think that's what you call it. I should probably go sleep before I do this. Okay, rise and shine. I will take you, the other cave cow, and I'm gonna be very careful because I think this is the only other cow on the island. So basically, if he dies, we have no leather and the world stinks and it's over. No pressure. You are everything to me. This is getting really dangerous. Come on, hurry, come this way. Oh, please hurry, please hurry, please hurry. All right, cow, meet other cow and have baby fast before anyone kills each other. Yes, all right, we are now okay, we are safe. So let's do a little bit of terraforming. Throw down some fences. No, sheep, this is not your, okay, it's fine, you can stay. I might as well get you a friend too while I'm at it. And okay, let's begin breeding our cows. Oh, I guess they are not ready to breed yet. I'll be back shortly. So essentially, I sat there for multiple Minecraft days just feeding cows. And that right there is a lot of cows. I'm not exactly sure how much leather I need in total, but I'm just gonna start killing some cows and just get as much as I possibly can. <laughs> After taking care of all the adults, we have a total of 31 leather. To be honest, I doubt that's enough, but for the time being, that's a good start. Okay, so we'll get some paper and combine that with our leather and then combine that like this for bookshelves. I literally only made two. This might take a little longer than I thought. The amount of temptation I feel right now is overwhelming, but I'm not gonna cheat. I take this series very seriously. I just gotta do things the old fashioned way. That's pretty cool. But yeah, this is definitely not the most exciting part of the series. I am dying on the inside. And dying on the outside too. Mm. And all right, a couple hours later, we have our bookshelves. And I'm thinking I kind of want to put the enchantment room up here in the attic near my bed. So maybe if I break these barrels down and just kind of line this back wall like this. And I'm not 100% sure, but I think this should give us to level 30 like that or something similar at least i don't know but now my youtube friends it is time for us to go get ourselves an enchantment table which actually is the easiest part of the entire thing we're just gonna hop back down into our cave find and mine some obsidian oh well that didn't work let's try that again bingo and combine that with some of our extra leftover diamonds to make ourselves an enchanting table. And boom. All right, now for the moment of truth, please be level 30 enchantments. Yes. Level 30. Oh, I'm so happy. I love when hard work pays off. Let's just throw some decorations on this bad boy. Smack a barrel down for some enchanted books. And just like that, the enchantment room is complete. Well, here comes an interesting dilemma. We just spent all that time making the enchanting table and getting all the resources for it, but I still don't really have enough XP to enchant anything. But this leads us down to a beautiful segue of the mob spawners that we found earlier. 
To make a long story short, if we're gonna enchant all our tools and gear, we gotta make a mob XP farm. Now, my favorite kind of mob farm to make is one that uses water and soul sand to push the mobs into a specific area. And yes, we have a lot of water around us, but we don't have any soul sand. Which, believe it or not, is in fact very important for the farm. So... We gotta make a little pit stop. Okay, we're in and we're out. No funny business, no monkey business. We're out of here. Okay, we're here. I'm just looking for a piece of soul sand. That's it. Oh, there's a fortress right there. Okay, not for today. Farzy, don't get distracted. That didn't work in the nether. Soul sand. Where are you? I don't see anything. Oh, across the way. I know what I must do, but I'm not strong enough to do it. Ah, but I have to. It's for the video. I just need to get a bunch of blocks to build with. And now we very carefully build across and look out for ghasts. I am so terrified right now. All right, just give me some of you. I don't know which kind I need, whether it's sand or soil, but I'll take both. I just want to get out of here. All right, I'm good. I'm out of here. Goodbye. Uh, don't make this difficult, please. Oh, why is there a gas next to my portal? Oh, I don't even have a bow yet. How am I going to do this? No, 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 no. Oh. Well, that was pretty easy. But okay, I'm out of here. Peace. Soul sand and soul soil secured. Now, let's go make ourselves an XP farm. So I grabbed a few more materials and headed down to that skeleton spawner. All right, let's do this. So first off, we need to expand out the room so the max amount of skeletons can actually spawn in here. I want my farm working at maximum capacity. Oh, well, don't mind if I do. I love this seed so much. Now we're gonna lower the floors by, I think, four blocks? And the purpose of this is, is so we can put the water down here and make kind of like a moat. Imagine if I accidentally just find the spawner. That'd be really bad. I don't know why I said that, because now it might actually happen. Knock on wood. Okay, looking good. Now we just break into these walls, place down our water, and wherever the water stops, make a little moat right here. And that right there is a pretty sick moat. Now at this point, I will spare you guys all the mob farm details. It's a pretty straightforward farm design. Let's just place our soul sand, make our water elevator, and last but not least, make a small room for us to collect all the skeletons. Absolutely wonderful. The skeletons will fall here, we smack them up, put their loot in the chest station, and when it is time to go, we'll have a ladder system right here to escape. But before we get too carried away, let's go make sure the farm actually works. Just gotta swim up the current and just gotta break these torches. Okay, oh, there's spawning. All right, don't kill me. No, 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 wait, 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 wait. I'm not ready for this. You're going in the wrong place. Okay, cover it, cover it, cover it. All right, now, come on, skeleton. Go through. <laughs> oh, oh, you know what would be really cool? If I made some fences and made a little window right here to watch them. Yeah, that is sick. All right, guys, go up. Figure it out. Uh... Oh, it's working. One of them fell. Now for the moment of truth, can I kill them one hit? Yes, I can. Your boy just made an XP farm. So now all we got to do is enjoy the fruits of our labor and get some XP. <laughs> And I'd say that's probably good for now, so let's head out of here. Update. We have a problem. So as you guys can see, this is my ladder system to get back down to the XP farm. But the issue is that we are in the middle of nowhere, and I'm definitely gonna lose that hole very fast. If only there was some nautical build I could make on the water that looks cool and would be easy to spot. But I don't think those things exist. I'm just kidding. We should build a giant boat right over the hole. Not something I necessarily plan to do today, but I think it'll be a really cool addition. Okay, first off, I need to get back on the island and get some wood. Hello, beautiful. I missed you very much. Good. Then we're gonna make some shears, just so we can get a little bit of wool. Don't ask why it'll all make sense later and now it is time for operation build a boat wait where's the hole i lost it that was the whole point of building the boat uh i think it's over here this way i really hope at least is that it bingo all right operation boat is now underway so first off we're gonna make what us sailors would call the bow and yes guys i am a sailor please don't fact check that but just Trust me. So we're gonna put down some stairs on this side and then over 
here, wrap it around and put a block and then go out like that and don't die. That is the most important part. All right, how does that look? If you say good, you are a liar because it's not done yet. But now it is time to add some boat details like that pointy thing at the front of the boat, some sort of structure here on the back, and of course, the floorboards. And while I'm at it, I might steal some materials from that sunken ship because I currently have no access to spruce wood and I like spruce wood. And okay, she's looking pretty good, but I am missing one final detail. We're gonna use this luxurious wool we got earlier to make a sail, but I'm probably gonna need some ink sacks too for some extra color. And how much better is that? We got ourselves a big, beautiful boat, and right below it, we have the hole to our XP farm. I do wonder how it looks from the island. Can you even see it? No, you can't. Oh, well, who cares? Operation boat is complete. But ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and chickens, it is finally time after all our hard work to enchant our items. We've literally been working all day for this moment, so everyone get ready. I need lapis first, actually. Well, I don't really have much lapis. One second. I just can't seem to stop finding side quests today. And by side quests, I mean not die. Here we are. Okay, now you can get ready. And I think the first thing I want to do is make a brand new diamond pickaxe. Come on, baby. Give Farzi some good enchantment. Efficiency four. Fortune, let's go. I will take that. Now we're going to do my axe. Efficiency four. Okay, okay. My sword. Eh, it could be better, but I'll take it. And I probably should do two pieces of my armor. Bada bing and bada. Nope, oh, I'm not level 30 anymore. And bada boom. Not bad, not bad. Now we can officially say we are all geared up. I'd call today a successful episode. Oh, hello, neighbor. I should probably go to sleep. But wait, don't think I forgot about the most important part of the whole episode. This stupid, ugly tree farm that you all hate so much. I say we break in the new axe and make this thing a little bit more beautiful. There, are you guys happy now? Can you lay off my back, please? But all jokes aside, it actually looks really cool, so good call. This build is Farzy approved. But all right, guys, that's gonna be it for me. Last time on Hardcore Island, we made our first nether portal. So today, I think it'd make the most sense to go properly explore the nether with the goal of making a potion lab. Because after all, potions might help us live, and I do enjoy living in this world. But if we're gonna go into the nether, I need to get fully prepared. Yeah, I'm talking about the melons. We can definitely do better than that. So first up on the agenda, we need to make better food farms. Let me grab some of you, some of you, which I can use to grab some of you. And you too. I like you both. Everybody follow me. Maybe not that. No, 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 no. But maybe do it in a safer way. Thank you. And there we go. We have a pig pen and a chicken pen. Oh, I think that guy's lonely. Why don't you make friends with the fishes? But staying on track here, now we have a great source of food, that being cooked meat. Hello? Why are you holding a flower? And why are you in my house? Do you pay rent or not? Pay your bills. Also, good idea alert. If I take a regular old iron sword and do a little bit of enchanting with it. No, 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 no. Ah, that's what I want right there. If I can somehow get fire aspect, I could get cooked meat so easily. I think that means we have a new side quest to take care of. To the XP farm, marked by this amazing boat that your boy built. I truly am the best at what I do. <laughs> And just like that, Operation Easy Food Source is a go. Or not? I'm so confused right now. Are we sure this enchantment works as intended? 
Ah, there we go. It works. Now it's time to go to the nether. Okay, first things first, we need to move our nether portal. Because believe it or not, I want my portal to have its own special place, not just stuffed in some random corner of the island. So... Yeah. Now, how do I want to do this? I kind of think it'd be cool to have the portal on like its own special dock, kind of like this. So why don't we go out like over here and for the time being, just build out with some dirt. We'll make it look prettier later. Oh. I guess that's a bad omen. I don't think the Minecraft gods like my idea, but who cares? I do what I want. Boom, boom. And 360, light the portal, and I'm, I'm, I'm in the water. But okay, it's showtime. So our main goal for this adventure is to go find a nether fortress. We're then gonna try to find a blaze spawner for brewing stands and get nether warts for potions. All right, here we are. Okay, we already found the fortress. That was the easiest mission of my entire life. Yeah, baby, here we are. And I got the achievement to prove it. Wah! Now we just gotta find the blazes. Oh, you are not a blaze. You are a very scary man. Oh boy. These guys are not gonna be fun because if they hit me, I could die of the wither effect. Anything down here? Ooh, a chest. Come on, give Farzee a diamond. Sure. And nether warts. Oh my gosh. We're smashing these goals right now. Oh, more nether warts. Perfect. And as a matter of fact, I'll take some of this soul sand too. Another chest. Ooh, I'm really enjoying the hospitality in this place. It's all been so fine and dandy. Make it harder, Minecraft. Make it harder. A saddle. That could come in handy. But I can't speak too soon yet because I still cannot find a blaze spawner anywhere. Unless it's right down here. No, it's not. Oh my gosh, it's a blaze. Look, it's yellow. It, it's a blaze. Oh, Farsi, don't do this. I'm letting the intrusive thoughts win. Oh, I'm terrible at this game. Okay, don't die, please. Mr. Blaze, stop it. I'm sorry. Jeez, man. You guys hear that? I hear a blaze. Where are you? I know you're somewhere. I can smell you. Don't. Not the right kind of mob! Don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me. <laughs> there you are! Give me your rod! You didn't... You didn't give me any rod. Where's your origin? Where'd you come from? Show me the spawner. I am very confused. Where is the spawner? I'm pretty sure they can't just spawn out of nowhere, right? Or I guess they can. That's very new to me, but... I'll take it. Can you please drop a rod? I'm getting kind of frustrated. Okay, you know what? I'm not seeing any blaze spawners here, so we're gonna go find ourselves a new fortress. So off I went, traversing the nether in search of a blaze spawner. All right, I have some bad news. This adventure is requiring a lot of food, so I'm kind of out. I will murder you right here. I don't even care. This adventure is taking a while and I'm already out of food. So we're gonna have to do some hunting. Oh boy, we're starting. Wait, need to get this sword, get this sword, get this sword. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh, oh no, oh no, oh no. Mushroom, help me. They don't like these things. Yes, go away. Yes, yes, you big baby. All right, hit him once and yes. Okay, eat, eat, eat. Yes, I am a hunter. Man get food himself. Oh, I feel alive right now. Oh, not for long though. <laughs> On we go. Fortress! Yes! And a blaze! Alone. Again, why do you guys spawn alone? It's so weird, but blaze rod. Into the fire. But I'm not here for just one blaze rod. I'm here for two and three and four and many more. Let's go. We found a spawner right on cue. Now all we gotta do is just get a whole bunch of blaze rods and go home. Let's say 30 blaze rods. <laughs> All right, I have 28. Why don't we call it there for the sake of me not dying? Yeah, I like that idea the best. Blaze rods, check. But I'm still out of food, so... I am truly sorry. I just, I need to eat something. Delicious. Although you might be a little bit tastier. Yeah, for sure. Let's head home. Okay, we're back. And as we hinted at earlier in the video, today's big goal is to make a potion lab. So I'd say the first logical step is to make ourselves a brewing stand. I also need to get my chests all sorted out. This is a mess. All right, we go cobblestone there. We go blaze rods here. And that's not... How you do it? Is it like that? Oh, there we go. Perfect. Kaboom! 14 blaze things. Brewing stand. That is what it's called. But there we go. We have a ton of brewing stands so we can make ourselves some potions. Which is probably the best thing we can get to protect ourselves besides like totems of undying. But we're not going to have those for a while. But okay, now it's time to go make ourselves that potion lab. Which should probably go like over here because that's where the portal's going to be. So yeah, right here. Terraforming time! This is actually kind of slow. One moment, please. Much better. 
Land check. Now we could just make the potion lab similar to that house over there using like wood and cobblestone. But in my personal opinion, I think using nether blocks would be a lot cooler. All right, here we go. Of course, we're gonna need a bunch of netherrack. Perhaps a little bit of nether brick too. Sure, why not? Oh, hello. Funny seeing you guys here, huh? Oh. Don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me. Thank you. What other blocks would look sick in my build? Oh yeah, you, you, you. Crimson wood would look sick in this potion lab. Oh baby, I'm taking a whole bunch of you. And I'm gonna take out my diamond hoe that you guys were all hating on me for last episode. And I'm gonna get some of these wart blocks. You guys tried to call me stupid, but who's laughing now? Still not me, I wasted diamonds. What is happening? Why is there a child on this board? Why is it attacking me? I gotta get out of here. And after grabbing a few more blocks, it was time to head back and start building. All right, it is showtime, and I have absolutely no planning here. We're just gonna wing it and see what I can do on the fly. Because you know what they say, the greatest things in life require zero preparation or practice. I don't think anyone says that, but I do. So I'm thinking we start this thing off by making the house on stilts, almost like a witch hut kind of vibe. So we're gonna go over here and we're gonna craft a whole bunch of these planks and we're gonna turn these into shlips labs and the first layer of the house will go right there i'm also gonna sleep really fast because i don't want the phantoms chewing on my face anymore much better um how do we get inside i probably need a little staircase right here oh well that's one too short and perfect now we're going to raise up these pillars a little bit and now i need to build up these walls with some kind of cool pattern why don't we use netherrack and combine that with another kind of block so this will be kind of like a gradient and it'll kind of transform into that color maybe i don't know about this one guys that does that actually look good i can't tell i really can't tell if this is good or not but i'm just gonna roll with it okay the verdict is that is odd but i actually kind of like it i even could like strip these and oh oh I don't know. I don't know. I can't tell, but again, I'm just gonna wing it and let's do it. Eh, I actually like this better. Control, Alt, Delete. Now for the roof, I'm thinking we do something a little bit spicy here. So let's start off by making the little roof shape here in the middle. And my thought is that we use nether brick up there to like line the roof. So we go bada boom, bada boom. And for the blocks here in the middle, we're gonna do a wonderful concoction of all different nether blocks. This is gonna look very very interesting. Hey, hey, get away. Don't even think about it. Farzee is in his artistic mode right now. All right, everybody, do not be mean to me. What do we think? What do we think? I'm not just saying this. It actually is pretty cool, but we definitely need more details here on the side. This is a disgrace. So I'll be right back. there we go. Now with the exterior all done and pretty, it's time to go to the inside and start brewing some potions. All right, how are we gonna do this? Well, first and foremost, let's make a little table here for our brewing stand and just slap them along like this. Now I want this place to look kind of creepy, so we're also gonna put these containers of like weird nether blocks like soul sand and nether warts. And if we're feeling really creative, we can go find some clay to make flower pots and put some of those weird nether mushrooms inside of them. Oh, I'm drowning. Stop it. Un momento, por favor. Just give me one second here. And boom. Well, turns out I don't have any of those mushrooms, so... For the time being, we're using red flowers. We will solve this issue later on. But for now, we are good. Speaking of which, if we're gonna brew some potions, we gotta get some nether warts happening. So maybe we should make a little farm for that. One second. <laughs> And there we go, two little nether wart farms. Which now officially means we can begin brewing ourselves our first ever potions. So I crafted some bottles, farmed some nether warts, and just like that, it was time to go get some ingredients. So the top three potions I'm looking to get is potions of strength, healing, and regeneration. Which is going to require us to get gas tears, blaze powder, and glistering melons. Well, well, gas tears on the agenda, I guess. 
All right, buddy, don't kill me and drop a tear. And he did. Yes, one tear down. But we're gonna need a few more than that. Because gas tears can give us regeneration potions, which are probably the second best potion in the game. So cry, cry a lot, please. Anything? Yes, another one. And one more, just to be safe. Gas tears, check. All right, next up, let's go for the blaze powder, because that's going to be probably pretty easy, considering we've already done this today. We are experienced veterans at hunting blazes. If I can just find their home. Aha! Die, give me your rods, thank you. Whoa, I have one. On we go. Yes, blaze spawner. Yes. Okay, good. Now, last but not least, we just gotta go get some glistering melons, which I actually have no idea how to even get, but I assume it requires melons and something glistering. Let's go figure it out. Glistering melon. Aha, I was right. Something glistering. Golden nuggets. I'm pretty sure I have some of those, or I can make some at least. Boom. And if we skedaddle down to our melon farm, we just go bada bing, bada boom. And that right there is how you make a glistering string melon. But okay, now that we have all the ingredients, we can actually begin brewing some stuff. So we're gonna smack in our blaze powder and put some nether warts in, toss our fun little ingredients in, and of course, for Farzee's secret family recipe, we're gonna add in a pinch of redstone for some extra flavor. Or maybe not. It's not working. Oh, wait, there it goes. That was kind of weird. But ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we officially have made our first potions, which means there is a much higher chance that I am not going to die now. So these are going to come in handy very much so. Operation Potion Lab was a huge success. But if you guys recall, we still have a dock to make. And I still have a pretty good supply of nether wood. So why don't we make a nice crimson dock right here on the water? And if it looks stupid, we can just tear it down and do something else. We're gonna put our slabs here in the middle, continue placing down these big wooden pillars, and of course, add in a bunch of little details along the side. That was terrifying. I don't think there's a potion that can avoid that. Maybe a potion of luck or something. And there we go, the finished nether dock. Now, I'm not gonna say it's as useful as this dock over here. This is meant for like boats and stuff, but in its own way, it's pretty. Wait, I just got a sick idea. Hold on. Last episode, I made a cool boat out in the ocean. So I'm thinking, what if we made some small nether themed boats around this nether dock? That would look absolutely sick. We're doing. It. But first, we're gonna need some more materials. All right, let's figure out how to make a nether boat. I mean, I just made one of these things last video. How hard can it be? We just put some slabs down, throw in some stairs, and most importantly, add in those signature boat details. And boom, there's your boat. Wait, who are... Who are you? Oh, who are you? A lot of unwanted visitors today. Oh, I'm so tempted to fight them and get a totem of undying, but that is for a different time. But okay, the last thing for this boat that we do need is a giant sail. So I'm thinking we make a pillar out of this wood and we actually use nether wart as the main material. Fingers crossed it looks good. Oh, that looks pretty sweet, doesn't it? I like it. And just to put the cherry on top, I also added a few smaller boats. Is it possible? possible that the smaller boats are even better than the big boat? Like, look at the creativity on these things. We got the slabs and the trap doors and the banners as sails. Oop, I forgot one. But oh boy, this dock came out great and the boats came out even better. I'd call that a great success. But now that we've taken care of all our goals for today, I want to do something a little bit dangerous. I want to raid our first bastion. After all, we just made a bunch of potions, so might as well put them to use, right? But okay, let's get prepared. I'm definitely going to want a better bow. So let's craft one of these and enchant this bad boy and hopefully get something amazing. Flame? That's, that's actually pretty good. I'll take it. And I think besides that, we're all good. So let's go find a bastion. Now by finding find a bastion, I mean go find the one I already saw, because little secret, I saw one earlier, didn't tell you guys. I wanted to keep it a nice little secret for later. I think it was up in this direction? Aha, your boy has a good memory. Okay, let's take care of the giant floating jellyfish, because he's annoying. If I can just hit my shot, that'd be great. Oh, he, he despawned. Okay. okay. Forget him, we're going in. Okay, oh boy, this is actually very terrifying.
dying because if I die, I lose the world and that's how hardcore works. So yeah, let's be careful. Oh, gold block. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Oh, I hear pigs. You're the mean guy. Die. Wah. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're okay. And just to be on the safe side, let's drink a potion of strength. All right, chest. What do we got? Ooh, what is snoot? Iron blocks? Gilded blackstone? Cool. I'll take that. Any more chests around here? Oh, double chest. Come on, give me something. Oh, netherite scrap. Oh, that's amazing. I can start making netherite stuff soon. Yes, yes, yes. If I can leave this place with one full netherite ingot, I will be very happy. In fact, that's my new goal. One piece of netherite coming up. This place is so challenging because you got to do like parkour to get around. Just keep going. Just keep going. Just keep going. Going, going. Oh, chest. Nothing inherently valuable, but I'll take that because those are cool. Ooh. Oh. Ah, netherite uh, thingy. I don't know what it's called, but I think it lets you get netherite stuff. I swear I'm a Minecraft YouTuber who actually knows what they're talking about. Oh, another one. Stop. I don't care what you say, Mr. Gas. I'm taking all the good loot. So I have three of these things now. Does that mean I can make three netherite things? Nothing the old internet can't tell me. Oh, I still need netherite ingots. Oh man, I thought it was getting away easy. We still got to Keep searching and surviving. That's also important. Wah! What is this? A boss level? Why are there so many weird mobs here? <gasps> Two ancient debris. That should be enough for an ingot. All right, guys. We are oh, ready to die, apparently. We are ready to get out of here. Let's head back home and make ourselves our first netherite tool. If I can just escape the soul sand valley, that'd be wonderful. All right. So first off, we need to smelt up our ancient debris to turn these into scraps. So I put these in there and I find some kind of fuel source such as slabs sure why not and we go bada boom and that gives us five netherite scraps now we're going to take our gold blocks turn these into ingots then i can craft these into netherite ingots boom any chance i have a smithing table in this house because i'm gonna need one of those or can i craft one perhaps smithing table. Oh, that's easy. You should have told me that from the beginning. Wha-pow. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it is time for the moment of truth. We gotta decide what tool is going to be netherited, which almost makes me think we should enchant something totally new to get the best possible thing ever. Why don't we do a diamond pickaxe? All right, boom, 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 netherite pickaxe. Oh, it looks beautiful. Now we just scamper down here to get some lapis lazuli. And come on, baby, give Farzi the best pickaxe of all time. Please give me something amazing. That, that's terrible. I am issuing myself a refund. Thank you. Okay, take two. Farzi wants something amazing. Give it to him, please. Silk touch, that is fine with me. I mean, I kind of wanted unbreaking too, but it's fine. Eh, it's not fine. Excuse me one moment. I mean, is it impossible to get all three enchantments? I've made two trips to my XP farm and used all my lapis and I still just can't get all three. So I'm done. Silk touch and efficiency. Happy to have you, I suppose. But putting my rage aside for a minute, what a successful day we've had. We went to the nether, got a bunch of stuff, made a whole new dock, made a potion lab, and now have netherite tools. And don't think I forgot about the most important part of the whole day. We're putting in the mushrooms. And perfect. On my hardcore island, we've made a lot of progress. But despite all our amazing gear, we haven't really built a lot of stuff yet. Which is the whole point of this whole island challenge to transform it into something amazing. So today we're going to build an entire custom village, AKA a village transformation. So our first objective is to get a whole bunch of torches and light up the surrounding area. Because if my villagers die from zombies, I'm going to be very unhappy. To the mines. And hello, you're right here. Oh, wait, I'm using silk touch. Stupid enchantments. Now you see why we're doing this. It's a dangerous world we live in, ladies and gentlemen. And there we have an entire island covered in light. 
But regardless, I'm still gonna get these villagers in some boats and move them somewhere just to be safe. I don't trust these guys one bit. And here is going to be your pit of misery. Enjoy. And that's all of them. Uh, what? You must have a really strong head, dude. But can you, like, get out of the way, please? I'm trying to get you guys a little safe space. All right, take care. Don't do anything stupid. Bye. When I hear the term village transformation, it usually includes people tearing down villages and totally rebuilding it. But I think that is stupid. My plan is to take those existing villager houses and upgrade them using my amazing building skills. And then afterwards, expand the village over here into the wilderness. Well, I don't know if you'd call this the wilderness, but you get the idea. And as we always do, I'm gonna take some red wool so I can mark where the future buildings are gonna go. I probably need more than three pieces of wool though. I'm just gonna awkwardly wait for the sheep. Okay, let's do some planning. Why don't we put a house right here around this chicken thing? I don't know why I said thing. He's a human being. He's not a human being, actually. He's a sweet majestic animal that I love. Oh, I miss Broderick. Carrying on. Let's also put something over here, over here, and maybe something right over here. Oh, I'm out of wool. Okay, well, I'm gonna add more things, but that's all I have for now. So in the meantime, let's start transforming some houses. So I think the best way to upgrade these houses is by expanding the block palette and adding a bunch of details along the sides and the roof, which means we need to go gather some resources. Well, right after I empty out my flooded inventory. Still haven't organized my chests. But there's no time for that. We gotta transform the village. So my objective here is to get as many different kinds of white and gray blocks that I can. Andesite, perfect. Diorite. And since I own a silk touch pickaxe, we can get some stone and convert it into stone bricks. So yeah, those are all the blocks I need. Now I just gotta keep mining those blocks. Oh! That was a strange noise, but tough. This would be amazing. Fun fact, this is actually my favorite block in the entire game. The more you know. Okay, let's give this thing a try. Starting off with you. So first off, we're gonna peel back this cobblestone and probably put in some kind of like tough foundation. Then get rid of these and maybe sprinkle in a little bit of stone brick and do the same thing over here. I don't love the mossy cobbling here. It makes it look kind of old. So why don't we put andesite in place of that? And that should be good for the walls. But as we already talked about, we need to add a ton of other details too. So we're gonna need some wood. And why don't we start off with shaking up the roof a little bit. As you can see right now, it's just a bunch of wooden stairs, but I say we break some of these and sprinkle in some logs, kind of like how I did for my house right down there. Eh, why does that look so weird to me right now? Maybe we should change the trim of these outside stairs. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. Do I have any other axes in here? Maybe, possibly. Well, I guess I'm just making a new one. But on the bright side, look how sick these stone brick stairs look as a trim. So much more detailed. Now we're just gonna throw in some trap doors, some fences, and just a tiny expansion of our block palette to make it pop a little more. And after a few more minor details, look at this thing and compare it to that house back there. Like the details are completely uncanny. So now all we gotta do is do that kind of work on all the other houses in the village. And if that doesn't call for a major time lapse, I don't know what would. Let's do it. I don't know why I did that. And how is that for an upgrade? Oh my gosh, guys. I just can't get over all the color variation and the texture changes and just everything looks so, so good. Except maybe this tree here. Should this also get an upgrade? Eh, sure. Why not? Just grab some leaves, some extra wood, and let's just turn this thing into a little custom tree house, I guess. Which, believe it or not, is actually pretty easy for me. I love making custom trees. And there we go. In fact, here's a better angle. 
Look at this bad boy. So majestic. But now that we've upgraded all the houses in the village, it's time for us to start making our own buildings. Starting off with a giant lighthouse. Because after all, we are by the water and I wanted some kind of tall tower, so a lighthouse actually fits in perfectly. Lighthouses normally consist of red and white stripes. So I think the best place to find red and white blocks are actually in the nether. All right, what kind of blocks would fit in good for a lighthouse? Obviously quartz for the white. Would it be crazy to say netherrack for the red? I mean, it looks like a pretty lighthousey color to me. Why not? Let's just wing it and say, yes, we're doing it. I always forget just how many quartz you actually need to make quartz blocks. It's kind of ridiculous, but I've already committed to the block, so I'm just going to keep going. Oh, if we're going to make a lighthouse, I also need some light. Hence the name, lighthouse. So maybe a little bit of glowstone wouldn't hurt, huh? Oh, it's gone. Stupid gravity. Okay, let's begin building. Now, if I were a lighthouse, I'd probably go by the water, like right here on the shore. But I also kind of want it more towards the village, so maybe like right here is a happy medium. Let's do it. Oh, wait, my shovel's not enchanted. What kind of blasphemy is this? And boom. Well, take that. Sure. Back to work. So there are multiple ways to make a lighthouse, but I like doing kind of like the candy cane, like stripes going up like that. So we're going to do some white and then maybe do some red. I just realized this is not a square building. It's a circle. So why don't we try one, two, three, four, five, then go a few this way and wrap it around. Yup, that looks pretty circular. Now I just got to figure out how to add in the red and make it look all natural. On second thought, I'm just gonna do the stripes because my brain hurts right now. Which in that case means we're gonna do some small adjustments here on the side and just stack these colors up in increments of three. I did just realize I probably should have made these smooth quartz, but I am not redoing all this. So we're just gonna keep going. So now we're gonna actually go in by one and kind of make this a little bit skinnier all while continuing the same pattern. And after doing this a few more times, we have a pretty cool lighthouse shape. I'm just gonna grab some cobblestone for some extra details on the roof. Yeah, that's good. Now, if we climb to the top of the tower, this is where we can put down our glowstone and surround it with glass, which I probably should have gotten before I climbed all the way up here, but it's okay. Consider it entertainment or something. BRB. about 20 minutes later, there is our completed lighthouse. And I'm not gonna lie, I actually think it came out really good. The details, the colors, all the little small cobblestone bits, I just think it came together pretty nice. But that being said, you can't really judge a lighthouse unless you're in a boat. Let's give it the old test. Oh no, I'm lost at sea, where am I? Oh, if only there was a giant lighthouse I could look at. That, that's a good lighthouse. First build complete. The next thing I want to do is move all the animals in these pens into a gigantic barn, which should probably be in this jungly area. So maybe right here is the perfect spot for it. Why is this pig following me? Oh, wait, I have, <laughs> I have carrots in my hand. I'm kind of silly sometimes. But carrying on, I want the block palette to be a little bit different for this build. I want to use some gritty orangey blocks like bricks and granite. I don't know. I just feel like it'll fit in really well for the whole barn theme. Oh, drowning. But anyways, we're gonna need a whole bunch of clay. I really wish there was a more efficient way of doing this, but unfortunately there is not. Clay mining montage. Oh, I'm getting dangerously close to a guardian temple. We should probably turn around. <laughs> That's a good amount of clay, I'd say. So let's go smelt all this clay up, which actually reminds me, I do need to go get some more coal for a fuel source, as I've been kind of slacking in the mining department recently. Coal, where art thou? All I see is stupid diamonds. Worthless. Coal, bingo. And as a matter of fact, while I'm here, I also need granite for the build. So let's do a two for one. Some might call this the ugliest block in the game, but I think it's gonna look very nice in this build. But all right, we have our block, so now we can begin 
building the barn. So first things first, I am gonna expand the land a little bit out this way, just so I can make the barn a tad bit wider. Cause after all, we're gonna have like four different animals here, so I don't want it to be too cramped. And this big boy here probably has to be chopped down as well. Oh, and it's raining now. Okay, well, I guess I made nature mad. Okay, so why don't we begin by placing down some wooden pillars, maybe with three block gaps. Then in the spaces between here, we're gonna put these little blobs of brick mixed with granite and maybe a little bit of dirt if it'll fit. Eh, actually, I take it back. Forget that. Bricks and granite will suffice. And for any classic fans out there, this is actually a very similar design to the first barn I made in my hardcore series. Consider it like I'm paying homage to that. Now we're gonna have to figure out the roof for this thing, which I imagine will be just kind of like this rounded semicircle, but it actually ended up being a pretty big building, so I'm gonna need some more logs for this. So I think we're gonna do a nice trim here of oak stairs along the sides and the front, then in between here, we're gonna fill it with sideways logs going into a roof shape. This is the only way I know how to make a barn, so we're just gonna do our only option here. But okay, how does the barn look? That was a rhetorical question, by the way, because I know it's amazing. It looks so good. The details are on point. I added some pillars here and a little awning up here. Now we just got to make the inside and put our animal friends within. And for this, all we're going to do is take these wooden pillars and kind of raise these up and make little pens like in these corners, I guess. It does seem a little bit small, but I mean, we're not going to have that many animals. We are stuck on an island after all. It'll be fine. Okay, looking pretty schnazzy. Now we're just going to put some fences between where the animal pens are going to go, and yeah, they'll just kind of hang out on these back walls. Now, to get the animals. We are going to need some carrots, some wheat seeds, and what, cows, sheep, pigs, chickens. That's it. Okay, cool. Everybody follow me. Please don't die, because if you die, I will have no more animals, and that would ruin the whole series, so don't die. Oh, Mr. Pig, you come too. Might as well be efficient here. Come on, guys. Let's go. All it takes is one creeper, and I'll be a very sad individual. Yes, everybody get in the barn. Come on. Yes, single file. Everyone in. Wait, I'm missing a cow. Where's the cow? Cow! Oh, you're right here. Hello. Excuse me, sir. Can you please get in? You're making this very difficult for me. There we go. They're all in. Now we're gonna lock you in there, and the pigs are gonna go on the other side. Bada bing and bada boom. Oh, an escapee. Oh no, he despawned. So tragic. And now for you guys. And just like that, the barn is complete. Wow, from far away, that is a massive building, but complete nonetheless. Well, now that we're getting all these buildings done, I might as well start breeding the villagers and letting them populate the area. Not necessarily an urgent thing to do, but I was just thinking about it. So hello there, friends. Why don't you guys take some carrots and make me a baby? Are you gonna make one or wait, hold on. What if I get you guys some more food and I make you guys a couple of beds? But okay, beds down, food in hand. Now make me some children. I'll be back to check on you guys a little bit later. Get out of the way. Oh, thank you. That was so nice. Oh, wait, I see hearts. It's happening. Let me see. Yes, toss those carrots. <gasps> Child. Oh my gosh, you're adorable. Your name is now Jeffrey and you're going to stay in the pit for eternity. Jeffrey, thank you for your service. Let's move on to our next building. Now at this point, I want to start filling up the empty spaces in the village with different kinds of shops, which actually ended up looking really cool. And the best part about it is now the island looks so much more full. There's no empty spaces. It's just full of life and color and barrels because that's what I spammed in every single building, beds and barrels. But regardless of that, there is still one final building that we are absolutely missing. If we're going to have a whole bunch of shops on our island, we need to make a way for villagers to actually buy things. I want to build a giant bed bank and fill it up with emeralds. But as far as I remember, I don't think I have many emeralds. I have 15. So it's time to go on an emerald mining spree. Where is the boat? I could have sworn there were boats in my dock, but I guess I got rid of them. Oh, there we go. All right, it's time to set sail and go find emeralds. On we go. Now, the funny thing about emeralds is that they only spawn in mountain biomes. So we got to be on the lookout for some tall mountains. As a matter of fact, it might be handy to up my render distance a little bit. Oh yeah, we can see so much further now. This is going to be very good. 
Oh, that might be the biome we're looking for. Let's just park our little boat right here and take a quick little look at what we're seeing here. Aha, uh -huh, the grayish green grass. The giant ominous looking boulder. All the mobs trying to murder my face. I would say we are in emerald territory. But since we are doing an island challenge, I'm not gonna mine anything up here. I'm gonna only get stuff underground. That seems pretty fair in my eyes. Oh gosh, I feel like one of those cave explorers on TikTok. And I really hate those videos. Videos. Whoa, whoa, okay, we found stuff. It's not emeralds, but it looks very interesting in its own right. Is it possible to make that jump right there? I'm gonna go with no. Let's let's be safe and then just do it anyways. Mm, we're good. We're good. Oh, and diamonds. Thank you very much. But I do feel like we're kind of getting off track here. There's no emeralds down here, at least I don't think. So we should probably head back up and go somewhere else. That was a dud. So instead, I did things the old-fashioned way. Yes, give me all those potatoes or emeralds. You know what I mean. But okay, now that we have a little bit more of an emerald supply, let's go make ourselves the villager bank. <laughs> All right, not your most conventional looking bank, but I put some quartz in, some trap doors, and I think it's unique enough, so I'm gonna roll with it. And if we go inside, we have a few barrels here to fill up with our emerald supply. So that being said, I guess all we gotta do now is release the villagers and let them populate the city. Hello, friends, it's time to be released into the world. Come on, right this way, the water's fine. I'm guessing I have to break their beds for them to leave? Yeah, they're moving out. Let's go. And they're even applying for jobs. They're also getting stuck in fence enclosures. That is kind of annoying. On this hardcore island, we've built some amazing things and achieved quite a bit of progress. So our only objective left is to defeat all of Minecraft's bosses. Starting off with the Elder Guardian, who happens to be very conveniently located right next to our island. But before we do any kind of fighting anyone, we need to get geared up. We're gonna need things like water breathing potions, depth strider boots, and of course, a trident. Cause if not, I'm probably gonna get wrecked pretty fast. Off to go find some potions, if I can find the boat. What's the point of a dock without boats, man? Why do I always do this to myself? Okay, onward. I know for a fact that water breathing potions can be found in buried treasure, which can be found in shipwrecks. Come on, baby, show Farzi a buried treasure map. Those are not what I wanted. How about over here? Oh, I'm dying. Nope, don't die yet. Eh, I don't see anything. On to the next one. Yes. Buried treasure map, which seems very far away. Let's see if I can figure this thing out. Come on, baby. X marks the spot. <gasps> there we go. Come on. No potions. That's that's very sad. I'm going to go find a few more buried treasures. One eternity later. Yes, water breathing potions. Finally, these are gonna come in really handy pretty soon. Next up on the agenda, we're looking for Depth Strider Boots, which should be pretty easy to get because all I gotta do is enchant boots using XP and just hope I get lucky. So let's take my boots, which are actually about to break into pieces. I probably should just get rid of those and make some new ones and throw them in the enchanting table and hope for the best. Let's try this again. Mm, Depth Strider. All right, that was really easy. Told you. Would be. Now all we gotta do before fighting the Elder Guardian is getting a trident. Simply because bows and arrows don't really work too well underwater. Yeah. So we gotta go find ourselves some drowned. <gasps> trident! Yes! We finally got one. Oh, that took so long. Which means it's finally time to go fight the Elder Guardian. So I grabbed some buckets of milk, got mending for my trident, and went down to the ocean monument. Oh boy, okay. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time to fight that guy who just showed my English. Sorry, I'm kind of stressed right now. Okay, let's drink one of these water-breathing potions, and let's get inside this bad boy. All right, where are you, Mr. Guardian Elder? Oh, I see something. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Where are you? I feel like these guys are normally closer to the top, so I probably want to go up this way. Wait, why am I? Wow, oh no! If I drink milk, it'll lose my underwater breathing effect. Okay, I can't drink milk anymore. I have to. Oh, that is so annoying. Didn't think that one through. Looks like I'm only gonna have about three minutes to kill this guy, so we gotta be quick. Oh, yes! Okay, they're here. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, okay, die, die. Hua! 
Come on, just smack him in the face. Oh, don't kill me, please. I think I have other potions. Yeah, I have instant health. I have strength. Please be quick, be quick, be quick. Why are there two of you up here? Come on. Oh, I got him. He's dead. Oh, I want that sponge. Get me out of here now. Bye. Oh, there's so many guys here. Get to the chopper. All right, bye. We did it. Yes. First boss complete. I'm in a cave right now. And my plan is that every time I kill a boss, I want to display the item it drops in an item frame just to kind of commemorate the memory. So let's craft one of you. And we'll display these bad boys right here next to our bed. Perfect. Now it's time to move on to the wither, which is going to require us to get milk, more potions, and of course, wither skulls. We already got a lot of milk, and I have an entire potion lab in here. So let's cut right to the chase. Okay. Okay, where are the wither skeletons at? I need some skulls. No. Oh, there we go. All right, drop a skull. Nope, that's coal. Almost, but not what I want. Luckily, I did already put looting on my sword, so this shouldn't be too hard. Just might take a little bit of patience. <gasps> First one. Yes. 33% done. <gasps> Another one. Oh, that was so fast. 66% done. Come on, baby. Give me the last one. Oh, that would have been so incredible. Incredible. I can speak today. <gasps> last one. We are done. That makes three wither skeleton skulls. Now it's time to transform these wither skulls into a wither and smack him in the face. Out of my way. Don't care about you no more. You're meaningless. All right. The best place to do this fight is probably going to be underground so the wither can't fly into the air. But I also probably shouldn't fight him underneath the island because if he escapes, I will lose everything. So we are once again hitting the high sea. Oh, that might be a cave down there. Let's see. Any openings without water? I don't see it. I mean, it can't be that hard to find the cave, right? Oh, this is actually a pretty big boy down here. I actually have faith in this one. Bubbles. More bubbles. Maybe I have to dig down a little bit and find the cave myself. Wait, I hear a bat. And I'm pretty sure bats are not aquatic. <gasps> oh, okay. That, that is definitely a cave. Maybe a little bit bigger than I wanted, but it is a cave. Eh, I can't see this fight going well at all. Let's keep looking. Oh, bingo. This is much better. Minus all the zombies, but we can take care of those. Okay, let's dig over here and start this party. So we're gonna go boom, boom, and boom. Throw the heads on top. Get my hot bar all figured out. And without any further ado, it's time to rumble. Whoa! All right, all right, all right. Drink my potions. Potion of strength. Potion of regeneration. Get more potions in their places. And it's time to fight. All right, let's go. Be careful. Arrow him, arrow him. Oh, so far, so good. Just keep my distance. Oh, I'm gonna sword him now. He's in sword mode. Oh, but go back, go back, go back. Drink milk, drink milk. More potions. And back to smack him in the butt. Oh, we're wrecking his health. This is going so well. Keep going, keep going. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Spoke too soon. More milk. Ooh, die, we got him. Don't drink milk. Don't die, don't die, don't die. Yes, we did it. Nether star acquired. Oh my gosh, I thought I was gonna die there. That was excellent. Now let's go throw this bad boy in an item frame. And bingo. Nice. On to the next boss. So the next guy on our list is the Warden. And I'm gonna be honest, without any Elytra or Totems of Undying, I don't know if I can kill him alone. Which is why the first thing we need to defeat the Warden is Iron Golems. Because if we can create a formidable army, I should be able to outnumber the Warden. So the question is, do I have any pumpkins or any iron? Aha, pumpkin seeds. I'll be taking those. And I have a little bit of iron here and there, but I'm probably gonna need a little bit more. Iron Mining Adventure. And while we do that, I'll just plant these pumpkin seeds right over here to grow. To the mines we go. And if you guys do recall from episode number one, there is a giant iron vein in this cave. So without any further ado, let's mine the vein. That sounds like something a doctor would say, but let's do it. I think that's it for the vein. I, oh, never mind. I lied right to your face. Now I think that's it. Yeah, we're all out now, I think. But that doesn't mean there's no iron over here. Aha, uh -huh, I'm always right. I've never been wrong before in my entire life. But anyways, let's go smelt up all this iron, speed along these pumpkins a little bit, and see just how many iron golems we can actually make. Two, three, four, five, six. 
six, seven. Okay, seven iron golems. That should be enough. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, what's the worst that could happen? We die and lose the world? No biggie. Joking, of course. That would be a huge biggie. Maybe the biggiest biggie of all time. I'm gonna stop talking now. But now that we have our iron golem supplies, I need to get better tools and armor so I can actually fight too. Because this bow is not gonna cut it. So we're gonna make a little pit stop into our skeleton XP farm. If I can get down. Go. Thank you. Give me your XP. Why'd I say that so weirdly? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is showtime. And by showtime, I meant go find an ancient city, which was painful. It basically took me the entire day to find one, but eventually we did get there. Oh, baby. Please show me an ancient city. Oh, wait, I don't even need one. I totally forgot I can summon a warden just using my own vibrations in front of this weird block. So forget the ancient city. We're good to go now. Oh boy, I'm not prepared. Uh, yeah, I am terrified and I'm wasting time. I should just make a plan and do it right now. That's my warden hunting song. Okay, I need to get the warden to spawn now. Hello, Mr. Warden, are you in there? Why is he not coming out? I'm making a bunch of noise. What if I jump on you? Oh, that did it. Okay, well, at least I know it works. So why don't we start placing down our iron golems now? Yes, perfect. And we'll jump on this guy again as we place them. And one last time. Oh, I hear him. Okay, he's there. He's there. He's there. Okay, okay, okay. What we're going to do is we're going to have all the golems spawn in and fight him and hopefully kill them all. All right, they're in. Yep, do it. Fight him, fight him, fight him. Oh, they're not doing very well. Oh. They're all dead. Looks like I gotta do this myself. Which, as a matter of fact, I probably should get high up in the air so he can't shoot me so easily. Oh, he's chasing a bat. Okay, we can do this. We can do this. I'm just gonna take out my potions. And if I can see him, I'm gonna try and shoot him. Where are you? <gasps> Oh, 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 I killed him! I just killed him! Oh, I just one-hit him with a bow and arrow! How'd I do that? I have no idea how he got that low in health. Maybe it was the iron golems, but I don't care. We did it. I cannot believe we just did that. How the heck am I alive? I don't know. I don't care. I'm getting out of here. Goodbye, Deep Dark. Well, now, as we've been doing, let's put this bad boy on display. I will never forget what those golems did for me. Oh, man. As a matter of fact, we're gonna put some iron blocks here to commemorate them. My heroes. So far, we've killed the Elder Guardian, the Wither, and the Warden. Which means all we have left is the final Minecraft boss, the Ender Dragon. And I know a lot of you guys are like, oh, the dragon's not hard at all, but I'm Farzy and I do dumb things, so we gotta be careful here. So first up on the agenda, we're gonna want a pumpkin so I can make the Enderman not hate me when I'm in the end. We're also gonna want a water bucket so if the dragon yeets me into the air, I can actually actually catch myself and not die. I mean, in a perfect world, I'd rather have Elytra, but this will do for now. Now all we gotta do is take my pumpkin head and go get some ender pearls to go activate the portal. Enderman, where are you? Well, I did cover my entire island in torches, so maybe they're not gonna be around here, but I know where they might be. To the caves. Any ender buddies down here? I feel like this would be a good place for them. Well, minus all the flowing water. They don't like that stuff. Ah, we're following the breadcrumb trail. I did not place that. We must be getting closer. Ooh, diamonds. Don't mind if I do. Enderman. All right. Okay. No sudden movements except this sudden movement. All right. Chase me and let me murder you. Come on. Drop a pearl. Boop. Yes. That is three ender pearls already. Oh, let's not die. That'd be no fun. But all right, three quick ender pearls. We probably need like 20 in total. So that's a great start. Let's keep going. Don't die. Okay, <laughs> I got scared there. Another one. I kind of sound like DJ Khaled right now. Oh. oh, there's two there. Don't ruin this for me. I just hit my foot really hard on my chair. This could be the last couple endermen that I need, please. Just need one more. Just one more. You drop gravel, you butt. I saw a third one. Where are you? No, don't do this to me. Where did you go? There you are. Give me the last ender pearl. You are the worst. Now I have to eat stupid rotten flesh to get this last one. <gasps> or maybe I don't. Drop it. I guess I do. <gasps> yes, okay, we have him. Get me out of here. I don't like almost dying. It's very painful for me. <gasps> 
See you later, alligator. Get me back up to the surface. Oh, that was stressful. Now we can just combine these pearls with blaze powder, which will give us a bunch of eyes of ender. Now, very simply, we can use these things to go locate the stronghold. Off we go on our big adventure to kill the dragon. Right after I get more food, because I forgot about that already. Now it's time to go. I feel like a true jungle explorer right now, but still no sign of a stronghold. <gasps> it popped, it popped. Oh, so much chaos right now, but okay. It popped, which I think would mean it's under here. And there's already a cave here, so this is a pretty good sign if you ask me. Anybody home? I don't want to break the rule of Minecraft, but I kind of just want to dig down and see if it's under here. I'm going to be careful. I'm going to be smart. I'm going to do two holes at once. Come on, show Farzee a stronghold. Hello? I still don't see anything, so we must go deeper. Ooh. What did I just hear? I already did this boss fight. No. <gasps> okay, false alarm. We found it. Baby, we're in the stronghold. That was a terrible voice crack, but you get the idea. All right, come on. Show Farzee the portal. Where is it? I don't like playing this game of hide and go seek. Just show it to me. I feel like I'm about to find a warden any second now. Yep, that's what I thought. I need to get over there, but I can't alert that thing. Be sneaky, be sneaky, be sneaky, and break it quick. Oh, okay, we're good. <gasps> Found it. All right, spawner, go away. Lava, go away. Baby zombie in all gold armor, go away too. But all right, ladies and gentlemen, we have made it to the portal. It is time to put our eyeballs inside these holes and go kill the ender dragon. Oh, yeah, I like the sound of that. Well, guys, it's been an amazing series, but here is the conclusion. Can I kill the dragon or will he ruin everything and make me regret my entire existence? Let's find out. Ooh, oh, well, that scared me so much. Okay, I am off the island. That is not good. <laughs> good thing I have some blocks here to use. Let's just start placing these and maybe even put down some water just in case I get knocked off. Seems like a smart idea. And let's start building up and get ready to commence the battle. All right, we're here. Let's get my potions in order and start shooting down these pillars. Ba-boom. Wow. They don't call me Farsi the Marksman for nothing. Well, no one calls me that, but they can now. Oh, what a shot. Oh, I'm gonna do something scary. I don't wanna have to get up really close to these pillars, so if I can just do this and try and shoot them from afar, it might be a smart idea. Oh, so far this idea is so good. Oh, there's still these cage ones. Okay, okay. I'm gonna have to do it the old-fashioned way, unfortunately. I'm gonna build up right here, and I'm gonna break this, go down a few, and go... Oh, okay. Oh, no, oh, no, no. Okay, this is it, this is it, this is it, this is it. Ah! <laughs> I practiced so much for these moments, and it's all for nothing. Well, guys, that's the end of the series. I stink at this game. Ah, uh, well, I guess let's go spectate the world and see all the amazing things we did. My amazing house, so cozy, so quaint, a bedroom, a garden, it was perfect. My tree farm, ugly, horrific, but got the job done. All my nether builds and how cool they looked, my lighthouse, the village transformation. I can't believe I died to the dragon. Well, there's only one thing left to do now. Roderick, we're back! Back like we never left.